Hey, how you doing? This is Sifu Willis, Ian Willis. Um, next part of introduction to Wing Chun. What we're going to do is we're going to change things up a little bit. Uh, we went through stopping a hook punch, the deflection, and dropping the arm, the punching, stepping in and punching into the arm, into the chest or into the jaw. What we're going to do is we're going to add a kick to it. So it's going to change the dynamic of it a little bit, and it's not going to necessarily look the same, but people have asked me, and there's been comments on uh, on uh, YouTube, Facebook, all these other things, does Wing Chun use their legs? So I'm going to show you how we use the legs, and I'm going to give you two different scenarios. So one James knows about, the other one James doesn't know about, so I mean, it's going to be a little interesting. But here's James, guys. Everybody remembers James. So worst thing we'll do is we'll go through the <coughs> stopping of the hook punch, and then instead of completing what you saw before, I'm going to add the kick to it. And just so you know, Wing Chun kicks don't come up here or aim for the head. They can go for the chest if it's open, but initially, Wing Chun kicks go for kneecaps, thighs, shins, and they go for the groin, initially. So, James is going to step in and throw the hook punch first. Again, I step out of the, I step out of the line of attack. Here's the triangle I'm using, so when he throws it, I step into the arm to stop it. And here's the punch, all the way out. So this punch is going to snap out. So as it hits... Then my next movement is to kick. So I can kick with here or here. So initially, I'm going to put all of my weight on the rear leg so that I can kick with this leg. So when he steps in with the punch, is stop, punch, kick into the leg. Now I can step in and punch and kick the leg again and take him to the ground and step in with the punches. The, the purpose for the kick is to destroy his foundation so that he can't continue to fight. So we'll go through a tiny bit faster. So when he steps in, I uh, hit, kick, kick, and take the punches into the back of the head. So we'll go again. He hit, kick, kick, and to the back of the head again. Now, one of the reasons he's not reacting to the second kick or the first kick is because as I'm kicking to his knee, I'm bending the knee back. So this knee can snap at any given time if I kick it hard enough. So if he throws this hook and then tries to throw the second one, the reason it doesn't come out is because this shot eliminates that second punch. But even if it comes out, kick, kick, step in with chain punches behind it. In Wing Chun, we learn to do what's called Chi Sao. And in Chi Sao, we also learn to use kicks in Chi Sao, we use the legs. So it makes attacks easier. Because if someone's attacking you and you use your legs to attack them, it becomes easier to make the shot and fight them off. So, again, we'll do it one more time and that'll be it. So, James steps in with the hook, step in, attack, attack the leg, attack, head, bring it back, attack, boom, chain punches into the head. So, these things are pretty easy once you learn how to use the different angles, how to use the different punches. Kicks are a lot easier. When, you're not, when they're not trying to reach the top of somebody's head and you're not trying to be Mary Poppins. So as the kick comes in, we're using the center line theory again. As you step in with the center line theory, we're using the same theory to kick up the center so that I don't have to find his legs. James throws a punch. So here's the center for me. I'm already here. So I don't have to find his leg. I simply have to kick up my center. Just kick up my center. Kick again up my center and launch the punches. All right? So please leave your comments, your thoughts. If there's something you want to see, leave that. And uh, catch you next time. Until the end.